Hello dear students, in this video I will continue with the 7th unit financial mathematics. The last topic in financial mathematics is depreciation. In this video, we will see how to find depreciation using linear or straight line method. We will also see the questions from exercise 7.7 .7 of CBSC handbook where we have to find the depreciation using linear or straight line method. Now before seeing the questions, we will see some of the terms that are used in finding depreciation. This depreciation is nothing but it is the decrease in the value of assets such as building, machinery and equipment of all kinds. So that is basically called depreciation. And then we have the next term usually given in the question for finding depreciation. It is scrap value or residual value or salvage value. This is the value of the depreciable asset or the asset at the end of its useful life. This is called scrap value. And next we have total depreciation or the varying value. Uh, the total depreciation it is the di difference between the original cost of the asset and the scrap value of the asset. It is the total depreciation. And next we have the the book value of the asset. We can find the book value of the asset at any particular time by finding the difference between the original cost of the asset and the accumulated depreciation at any given date. So, that will be the book value of that asset on that date. And now we will see the linear or straight line method of depreciation. So, in the senior or straight line method of depreciation, a percentage of original cost, it is written off every year. So, because of this, the amount of depreciation, it is uniform every year. According to this method, the annual depreciation, it is given by D equal to C minus S upon N, where D is the annual depreciation, C is the original cost of the asset. Then S is the estimated scrap value or salvage value of the asset. And then we have N which is the useful life in years. So the annual depreciation, the formula is very easy. It is calculated as C minus S upon N. Here in this formula, this C minus S is the total depreciation. We just now saw the total, depre the total depreciation is the difference between the original cost of the asset and the uh, scrap value of the asset. So, this C minus S is the total depreciation. So, this is the annual depreciation. It is given by C minus S upon N. N is the useful life of the asset in years. Now, we will see the questions from exercise 7.7. .7. We are going to see only those questions where we have to find the depreciation using straight line method or linear method. The other methods, it is not included in the syllabus for the academic year 2022-23. The first question, a machine costing rupees 30,000 is expected to have a useful life of 13 years and a final scrap value of rupees 4,000. Find the annual depreciation charge using the straight line method. So, this is a direct question. The cost of the machine is given, its useful life is given. Its final scrap value is given. We have to find the annual depreciation. So, we just write the formula, substitute the values. We can get the answer. So, the cost of the machine is rupees. It is 30,000. Scrap value is rupees 4,000. And its useful life is 13 years. So, the annual depreciation D is given by C minus S upon N. It is 30,000 minus 4,000 upon 13 which is 26,000 by 13. So, it is 2,000. Annual depreciation is rupees 2,000. Now we have the next question. An asset costing rupees 50,000 
is expected to have a useful life of 5 years and a scrap value of rupees 3000. Find the annual depreciation charge using straight line method. Again, it is similar to the previous question. The cost is given it is rupees 15,000. Useful life is 5 years and scrap value is 3000. We can find annual depreciation using straight line method. So, C is rupees 15,000. S is rupees 3000. And N is 5. Annual depreciation is given by C minus S upon N. It is 15,000 minus 3000 upon 5. Which is 12,000 by 5. It is 2400. So, annual depreciation equal to 2400. In this year's sample paper, question on depreciation was given in MCQ for 1 mark. Now, we have the sixth question. A firm bought a machinery for Rs. 740,000 on 1st April 2018. And rupee 60,000 is spent on its installation. Its useful life is estimated to be 5 years. Its estimated reliable or scrap value at the end of the period was estimated at rupees 40,000. Find out the amount of annual depreciation and rate of depreciation. So, here the cost of machinery is given and the installation charges is given. Useful life is given as 5 years. Scrap value is rupees 40,000. Using all these, we have to find the amount of annual depreciation. So, here the installation charges, it will also add up to the, the cost of machine while calculating depreciation. So, we know annual depreciation is given by C minus S upon N. So, here we have to find annual depreciation by taking C as cost plus erection charges minus scrap value upon expected useful life. So, here cost is 7,40,000 plus erection charge is 60,000 minus scrap value is 40,000 upon useful life is 5 years. So, this is 7,60,000 upon 5. So, it is 1,52,000. Therefore, Annual depreciation D equal to rupees 1,52,000 per annum. Next we have rate of depreciation. So, the rate of depreciation it is nothing but it is the annual depreciation upon the total cost. So, the rate of depreciation is D upon C plus S. So, it is 1,52,000 upon C plus S yes is 8 lakhs. It is 7,40,000 plus 60,000, 8 lakhs. So, this when we simplify, we get it as 0 0.19. Therefore, rate of depreciation is 19%. So, every year the machinery depreciates at a rate of 19%. Next question, Shiv and company purchased a mobile phone for Rs. 21,000 on 1st April 2019. The estimated life of the mobile phone is 10 years after which its residual value will be Rs. 1000 only. Find out the amount of annual depreciation according to linear method. So, this is for cell phone. So, this is the cost, this is the scrap value. And this is the life of phone. We need to find annual depreciation using linear method. So, here C is rupees 21,000. S is rupees 1,000. And N is 10 years. The annual depreciation D is C minus S upon N. It is 21,000 minus 1,000 
divided by 10 or it is 20,000 by 10 which is 2,000. Therefore, D equal to rupees 2,000 per annum. So, this is the amount of annual depreciation. Next question. On 1st April 2015, Dreams Limited purchased an AC for rupees 3 lakhs and incurred rupees 21,000 towards freight, 3,000 towards carriage and 6,000 towards insulation charges. It has been estimated that the machinery will have a scrap value of rupees 30,000 at the end of the useful life which is 4 years. So, its useful life is 4 years. What will be the annual depreciation and the value of the machinery after 4 years according to linear method? So, here the cost of AC is given. It is rupees 3 lakhs and then the charges, additional charges are also given. So, all these will add up to this cost. The scrap value is given it is rupees 30,000 and its useful life is 4 years. We need to find the annual depreciation and we have to find the value of machinery after 4 years according to la, uh, linear method. So, to find the value of machinery after 4 years, let us write the depreciation schedule. So, first let us find what will be the annual depreciation. So, D equal to C minus S upon N. Here C is 3 lakhs plus 21,000 plus 3,000 plus 6,000 minus scrap value is it is 30,000 upon useful life is 4 years. So, all these add up to 3,30,000. 3,30,000 minus 30,000 is 3 lakhs divided by 4. So, it is 75,000. Therefore, D equal to rupees 75,000 per annum. Now, to find the value of machinery after 4 years, here we have the depreciation schedule. So, we can draw, we can draw, find the depreciation schedule by drawing a table like this where we have year, then depreciation, then in the third column we have accumulated depreciation and then we have the book value of asset. So, under year it starts from 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. In the beginning of the year, depreciation is 0, accumulated depreciation is also 0. The book value of the asset is nothing but it is the original cost of the asset and minus the accumulated depreciation. So, the original cost of the asset it is 3 lakh, 3 lakh 30,000. It is the sum of all these or the sum of all these 3 lakh plus 21,000 plus 3,000 plus 6,000. It is nothing but it is rupees 3,30,000. And then after the first year, we have a depreciation of 75,000. So, at the end of first year, depreciation is 75,000. Second year, it is also the same because we are using straight line or linear method. And next, we have the accumulated depreciation. Accumulated depreciation is the sum of these two. It is 75,000 plus 0 which is 75,000. Then the accumulated depreciation at the end of second year will be this value plus this value. 75,000 plus 75,000. 1,50,000. At the end of third year it is 1,50,000 plus 75,000. 2,25,000. And then at the end of fourth year it is 2,25,000 plus 75,000. It is 3 lakh. The book value of the asset it is nothing but the original the original cost minus accumulated depreciation. At the end of first year the book value of the asset will be 
this 3 lakh 30 thousand the original cost minus 75 thousand so it is 2 lakh 55 thousand at the end of second year the book value of the asset will be the original cost c which is 3 lakh 30 thousand minus 1 lakh 50 thousand it is 1 lakh 80 thousand next at the end of third year the book value of the asset will be the original cost 3 lakh 30 thousand minus 2 lakh 25 thousand it is 1 lakh 5 thousand and at the end of fourth year the book value of the asset is the original cost 3 lakh 30 thousand minus 3 lakh it is 30 thousand so the value of machinery after four years it is rupees 30 thousand So this is how we can draw the depreciation schedule and find the value of machinery at the end of any year. Similar question was asked in the, la the last year board paper where we have to find the value of machinery at the end of second year. It was asked for 2 marks. I hope this video was useful for you. With this we have completed with the 7th un unit which is financial mathematics. In my next video I will start with inferential statistics. Thank you for watching.